Right, hello and welcome. Anyone that keeps up to date with my channel and its contents would realise that lately I've moved a bit away from the video and more towards the streaming side of things. And as a result I've gone and put a bit more effort into that. And today I just want to show my own overlay. So, um, two reasons for doing this. One, I don't see a lot of people doing this. So I thought if anyone else is interested in this sort of thing they might want to look at it, find out how it's made. Even if the content that you watch isn't mine, you might just watch this and go, that's how he did it, this is what he's done. If not, the other reason is, reason is, is so um, I can stroke my own ego, because I'm quite proud of this overlay, and although it looks quite basic, what goes on behind the scenes is a bit different, and that's why I'm going to go into OBS and show you a bit of how it's all been put together, just for, just for like, just so you can see, cause I'm not only going to go into how this overlay looks and works, it's going to go into how I've made a quite a modular design on OBS so I can quickly do stuff on the fly without having to take my hands off the keyboard. You know, playing a game, WASD and all that, I'll go away and boom, I put, want my camera over there so I can see what's happening in that top corner, or put it back here. So, first thing you notice about it is it's got a very... Windows 95 lock. That is the style I've been going for with this. Um, I'm quite proud of how it came out. Anything that comes upon screen is inside a window on is inside a window on Windows, effectively. Uh, side note: I am pointing here because that is where my screen is. You're there. Screen here. And. Um, so yeah, going back into this, I've made my own little thing. This has all been made myself. I was unable to import PNGs that looks quite how I wanted it. So I instead took it into Photoshop, got the colors sampled how I needed it, and put it in. Made it all myself. It fits perfectly for a 1080p aspect ratio, so my monitor. And it plays very nicely with the, with this, with the stream, effectively, yeah. If I bring you over into the into the desktop view, this will show you what's happening on desktop. So as you can see, I'm here in terms of the actual recording. Then there's there and then all through there. And then you'll see at the bottom it's gone from nothing to desktop. Now this is a gimmick that I added. It fits in nicely with the theme, but it's also a gimmick. I'm fully aware of that. And it tells you what is the active screen. So that slot there is the active screen. And if I take you down to the 95 taskbar, this is what it looks like on its own. Uh, next one is Nightwave. You'll notice that a lot of these are scenes. Scenes that you can find here, put in here. Because effectively, this is the base one. This is how I've made it. Just to keep it all thin, slowed down. So instead of putting all this into desktop it's all under taskbar 95 so that stream window and all that so besides that it's we've got a background just in case the display goes down you can see the background but this is just for the desktop so you've got your desktop icon which is there I've got it on a, this is what I mean by modular I don't like that symbol I'll get rid of that put in a different one doesn't affect anything else. Doesn't affect the active window. Doesn't affect the text, which has been typed to myself on OBS. So if I wanted to change it, I can do that. But for now, I like that. I went through loads of, just absolutely loads of like icons from the 95 pack that someone uploaded online and played through it all just so what I what fit. If I'm correct, this one is a collaboration of two different ones. Uh, so I had to convert them into PNGs from an ICN, I think it was, .ICN. And I just, you know, photoshopped it, put it how I liked it. I wanted a little hand on the under the computer, because I'm sharing it. I, I'm starting to sound like an art student now, aren't I? But effectively, I just like the look of it, and I thought, I'm sharing it, hand sharing. So... Then, going back to the taskbar where we are, so 
you'll notice that there's all these, they're all hidden because it's not enabled at the moment and I'll go through that and show you a bit later but as I've shown you before, not to spoil anything I press this, it hides it but I press that, it appears there subsequently, I don't want to have to hide it and then open up the other one like that, that's inefficient so, I've got that, I want to switch it, disables the other one I've got a hotkey that says disable the other one when I press this key which brings up that one it will disable that one if I toggle it, it toggles that but I want it to also disable the other one so it will sit there and go disable that one if it's not there it will disable it so press that it will disable that just to make sure that nothing I'm not getting two of my faces on here I could do that and I could have easily left it as that but I don't want to hit do that and then you know have them both up and everything is it like like this and then have to you know, press that to get rid of them and it's a mess it, inefficient it's a mess so another thing you'll see on here is these icons in the bottom corner the two little uh, symbols it'll be down here for you but my mouse can't go over it because it's overlaid I'm using the overlay as I'm overlaying so here we go right so that is what you think it is my mic my speakers so if I do you get that? Of course you didn't because it mutes it here and shows a little icon so it's muted there. It shows the stream what um, that I've muted and shows no one not I've been through a couple of streams not massive on stream myself I just like streaming and I don't I've never seen anyone that's put a symbol up when they're muted to say oh my my chat is muted and it also helps with troubleshooting because the amount of times before I've seen people go and they're going oh no sound no sound and he's having to troubleshoot oh is it this is it that he's just muted it but the chat could have told him that if he saw it here subsequently here there's a little little um, audio there now I'm going to play some music in the background Now, you can hear that. Can't hear it now. It's completely muted that track. So, these hotkeys are muted. Muted. Right, I'll pause that now. But, what if I want to do both at the same time? Right, do that. That unmutes. And that one mutes both. I said that and then realised I muted it. Good job, me. Next thing on the uh, list is a clock. That clock is exactly correct to that. I'll pull it out and show you, but it's all wide behind my tech naturally. I will show you through the power of mobiles. That clock is representative of that clock there. I'm fully aware that um, a lot of Windows and I think 95 didn't use PM. I use it, I like it, and I would happily change my desktop windows to say that if I fucking knew how. So it is something I'm aware of. Don't worry about that. It's just something, it's more preference for me. Next one is the taskbar. So, obviously, as you can see, taskbar leaves the icons. Now, Windows icon. The button is linked to the taskbar. And I think I was having that modular before, but I think I was reworking it all and I saved it all as one thing and it just made it a little easier. Saved a bit of time. I'm never going to change the taskbar. I'm not going to change it to the start button. But I could have that as my icon. I could have my YouTube logo as my icon. And I quite like that little gimmick, you know. And that was more inspired by Classic Shell, how you could change the icons from there. So I could have Windows, I could have that. I'm sick to Windows for the moment, but I do like that. So quite modular, quite customizable. And I get you could just throw any old overlay over it and just forget about it, and that's easy. But me, I like to put a bit of effort into it and put a bit of work into it. Next, I will go over to sort of the other stuff that shows up on the screen so you've seen this I could t toggle that on and off bring you back up to the desktop there you go so we've got that but what if that is Nightwave Plaza because of the theme of the uh, stream I've got Nightwave Plaza there and it will, I'll take it over to the, just, yeah, that, just, just because it's a little cleaner, 
they're a little more viewable. Oh yeah, you've got Nightwave Plaza just there. And you know that that is a direct input from the Nightwave Plaza Plaza dot zero uh, Plaza dot one um website. That's it. Fucking lost my train of thought. Because it fits the theme, I just do that, pop it in, and it plays that. Now, the thing is with Nightwave, I have to go on to here, open up Interact, and if I just bring you up to the view desktop, there we go. So, you see that? I have to press play there, and it starts playing. I don't want to start messing with that and all that because I've even been copyrighted on Vaporwave songs by the artists that have originally sampled it so I don't want to play too much there. But you get that. Um, also subsequently, so same there, this one is the current song. So here. Beautiful little thing. Um, so yeah it says here Nightwave Plaza, it shows it here. And then it says at, and it will show the URL. So if I do ever use this on stream, I will have to ask permissions and whatnot. But if I ever use it on stream, you'll see it there, and it will say, that is Nightwave Plaza there, and that is the website. Please visit it. It's a good website, and I do enjoy it. It's the only Vaporwave radio station that I thoroughly enjoy and think is quite credible. Um, subsequently, you also get the rotating cassette. I'm going to bring off the desktop again, just so... Um, show you it so here we go nightwave plaza so it's just nothing but the nightwave plaza the button the text and the cassette gear again it's here being showed here so go on to here yeah but nightwave plaza so i remove that everything in that scene's gone now i'll mute that because that's getting a bit annoying um so yeah so we've got the little cassette there rotating. I love the little cassette. I wanted one that played, but I noticed because of how small I've got it, you wouldn't notice it. But I found this little 3D one on Google Images and pop it in, and it's very quaint. I love it, and it does the job very nicely. And I thought, you know, I don't have to have a static image. This is a very Vaporwave thing. Vaporwave doesn't play by the rules. It just uses heavily of this. and So I'm not going to go into the whole back and forth with that. Next one is... This one, a little more simple, exactly the same stick as the Nightwave Plaza, of that static text, because I can't really get it to sample from there. I've tried, I've tried, but it's, it's a bit harder to play with. But it does uh, tell you the current song that is playing. So if I get up, if I bring back the desktop and bring... You didn't hear that, but I did. That was very fucking loud. So if I bring up this, and put this sort of here, so you got, that's Nightwave Plies, I don't want, I want, I want this one, here we go. So that's the current song that's playing, so if you read it here, that one, that one here, and that shows the song that's currently playing, if I'm playing through Fubar. And if I play it here, let me just unmute this. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Good thing I'm not going to edit this video. That's interesting. But yeah, again, same stick with the um, thing. So if I press that again, it'll get rid of it. And press that. I wish OBS allowed me to sort of turn specific sound sources down. That'd be nice. But it doesn't, so. Uh, you have to be repeatedly deafened by that. But if I bring that back up, if I switch to this song. It updates it, says it there. Now I've realised these are all Asian looking characters too, so you don't know if they are the same as so.
There we go. There you go, updated there. It rotates around, that's a double break, so those two lines, end of it, start of it. So, that's the end of the text, next one's start of it. So just to show that that is, you are reading correctly, you know, it starts there and ends there. It's just a little formatting thing that I do, because it bothers me. So, realise you haven't been able to see that, because my fat goof's been in the way. There you go, so, all this, here. So it does update and it does show you, so if I can once again go back, just put it here, updates down there. Simple reads from text file, if you know much about OBS streaming how that all works, that is what, um, that's what's happening here. So bring this back up, I think I've shown you the music, yep, yeah. next one, Discord. Discord, here I am, that's my Discord right there. And again. Because of how this is set up, um, usually I'll have it in studio mode, and if I put it on no activity, I'd, you know, I could edit that or whatnot, but because it's all attached to the Windows 95 taskbar thing, I just do that, and it updates on whichever one has the taskbar. So, Discord, up there. I like Discord, is um, what bothers me is when you watch a video and you can, they're in an obvious chat, a bunch of people, and you can't distinguish the voices. So you know someone's talking, but you don't know who. You don't know who, um, you know, XX Leak Snipes Assassin is. But this way, it lights up, it shows you who's talking, it shows you who's in there. So that is something I like, and it's something I value in a stream. So as a what viewer, I can sit there and differentiate that. Turn the music off. Another thing, another thing of how this works, um, yeah, because it's not an actual Windows program, it's got, you know, the stream, it's got a big gap there, usually if that was Windows it would move over here, but it can't, it can't do that because these are just images that are being shown here. Anything that, um, if I was to switch this to streaming games, I'll just show you but side by side, but yeah, that says active window there, active here. Basically, that's because that's the thing that we're playing with, doing stuff with, so I'm pretending that's the active window. So if you played, um, used wi Windows, the one that we're on, so streaming video games, is that I would happily also put a, have it say what game I'm playing, but that is another thing that I've been struggling to get on there, but I can't quite get on there. But I'm happy to have at least like the Steam logo there. Even if I'm playing Uplay, I don't give a shit because I'm PC gaming here, guys. I'm open to also update that if I'm using more of a emulator. So I'm open one day I can get an Elgato, plug my N64 into it, and stream, you know, Golden Ice directly from the N64 into that. And I'll have like a little N64 logo there to say that's what I'm streaming from. Right then, next on the agenda. Right, so I lied, I did a bit of editing. Um, so, a bit further on, so everyone has a splash screen that says be right back. This is my one. Not much different, it's just a bit of text on that. So, effectively, if I was to take you to the studio mode and have the desktop shown on the side, studio mode, and the desktop here. So, you can see my mouse here now. Actually, swap it better yet. Swap it around. There we go. So effectively, be right back. That is the text here. Taskbar, taskbar. Same as all of them. So again, mute, unmute. And maze, that is just a video. Straight up, that is a video source from here that plays. So, hour and a half, I'm never going to use the full thing. It starts again when I bring it back up. I would happily, again, have a more dynamic one. One that, um, you know, is randomised, it's played by computer each time, and just have a capture of that. Fortunately, I couldn't find anything like that, so video will do. I'm happy with that. So, 
and then from there we go to obviously the lock screen stream sighting soon I could turn that off uh, this is something I've not got bound to anything for the simple reason of I'm not going to use it that much I can easily click that on and off no one can see me like on the screen pressing buttons unless I'm doing it like you can see right now uh, this is a gift just you know little Nothing much, it just shows that there's a little cursor icon there, so blinking away. And nothing too much there. And last but not least, games. So, you've seen it all work before. That one. So it bounces around. If I switch you over here, so we've got you here. And that's, again, something I love about this. I can easily do that without having to let go of that, tab out. You know, so I'm not looking over here doing all that. You know, that is, this is why I've built it this way. So it's a lot more accessible. I'm hoping to also go and get one of those streaming boxes by Elgato. Have it all bound there so I could just go, done, done, done. I don't have to worry about hitting the wrong button. So, same thing there. I need to stop doing that. There you go. So you got that one there. Got it there. And... Discord here. So you've so got Discord, you've got that. Um, if I was to put Nightwave Plaza up, you'll have it over there. You'll get your notifications down here. You know, it all fits quite nicely. It's also quite, it may look a bit random here, but it is set up in this sort of manner where it is to both sides. I did shrink the displays recently. It, this was a, the, the. What am I doing with that? No, let's do that. The little, um, you know, chat window you see up here, that used to be a bit bigger on both sides. Um, that was a little wider, so I've made that smaller. Made the Nightwave platters a bit smaller as well. And I think the, I'm not sure, quite sure how the notifications, how big that is. Look it. Tell you what. Have a bit of fun, won't we? Aren't we boys and girls? So we're going to go on here. Open up my streaming resources, open up Streamlabs, and just send a test one, just so you can know what that looks like. So, I'm not going to show you it on the screen or anything, I'm just going to emulate streaming, as it were. So, go on to widgets, alert box, here we go. And this is sort of, you can't, I can't avoid this, but everything on stream, so jumping about, fighting ass about, oh I don't want this code up, that's gone. Oh, I want it back up. Here it is. I don't have to tab around, you know, clicking on. So, I don't have to go here and go, oh, I want um, active window off. You know, I don't know why I would want that off, but it's part of... Oh, I want taskbar off. You know, I don't have to fat ass about that, doing that. I can do it with hotkeys. Obviously, I don't have them bound to hotkeys because it's meant to be there all the time. But, you get the gist on that one. So, here, I'm playing with the... Um, playing with the game and you know test subscription oh thank you me you know what a knobhead he is but he's sat there that will sit there so I've got everything there everything fits everything fits quite snug there doesn't it so got my test follows got my um, night with plaza I got uh, my streaming thing up there. I might actually just move Nightwave Plaza just down a bit. So, hit follow again. Buzzing. I am hoping to change that default sound to more Windows 95 oriented, oriented sounds. But for the moment, that is quite nice. You know, quite like that. It all fits nicely and snugly here. And, yeah, I don't need that up. Don't need that up. Gone. It's all gone. Don't need to worry about it. Nope. So, I think besides... Yeah, no, I think I've gone through pretty much everything. How I built it and how I've put it all together. So it is all very modular design. So, you know, if I was to bring you back to the... Oh, that was it. So games, gameplay. You're probably thinking that I've cut off, you know, at least... 10, 20, 13 pixels, which is a lot, to be fair. Oh, yes and no. If you can... 
you know, if if I go on to games and switch that over, that is that, that's that, that's that, that's that. So, you know, without it, it's a bit bigger, whereas it is, all I've done is smushed it a bit. But the actual size of it isn't enough for me to complain. I don't think anyone would notice it, and you wouldn't, definitely wouldn't notice it. It's the equivalent of Simpsons from the 90s being played on your widescreen TV to fit the widescreen TV. You never notice it much. I think Simpsons you would notice, but it's not that not that bad. So you got that, and if I was to go over to the gameplay one and just sort of go on to the games, there we go. So pull that there and just switch that over. That's what it looks like there. But bring it back up here. And oosh, fits on a bit bit more snugly. And that's another reason why I've got it set up in this manner, so you don't see me just going ooh. You just see the overlay just going ooh with it. It looks messy, it destroys the illusion, it falls apart. At least if it's done by hand curtains, it looks slightly professional. So, but yeah, a bit more tightly knit. Also, another thing I love about this sort of taskbar is I go over to desktop and it hides my taskbar. I don't want people to know what I've got open. If I've got, you know, it's not like, they're all icons anyway, but I don't want to see them sort of have a look at it. I get slightly paranoid I guess but I just don't like it small problem and I can feel my S's at the moment <laughs> yeah small problem it's a little too big um, it doesn't fit the exact same height of the taskbar on my Windows operating system uh, and I could change that but and I will get around to it eventually but the small problem is is it is all quite it's all tied together so if i did that i'd have to adjust the start button i have to adjust all these um you know if i do <sighs> fucking i have to remember the hotkeys i'm still getting used to where i put them all that's why you keep getting that blooping in your ear but yeah so i got that here and I'd have to adjust all that and bring make it a bit smaller. And again, for the text, that was a pain in the ass getting that to look nice and fit in as well. So it's getting it to all work together. That's the thing, and moving it together. These little windows up here, that's easy. That's one thing you just adjust, and then you in OBS just crop it and shrink it however you need it. Oh, well, yeah. So. That's that. Got my game up here. So if I make sure that that's actually playing, there you go. Got my game here, and it all works perfectly fine. You know, that looks a bit. Is that what I say? It is. People love me. I go on massive tangents. It's brilliant. And it just looks a bit flaky around the edges. Oh well. Um. So yeah. Got all that and playing. It all plays nicely together, and that's why I've made it in sort of mo such a modular manner. It takes me out when you get a streamer that goes, "Oh, just let me go over here and do it." And they're all readjusting the size and popping it over. Studio mode's brilliant. It plays just like a vision mixer. You know, you get it all set up first, then move it over. It also stops with those scenarios where people are finding personal information, finding what they've got up in by doing it this way. So that's on there, that's here, that's there. I'm quite careful I don't want people seeing all my personal stuff and whatnot. And you know, it just looks a little more professional, adds a bit of air professional professionalism to it, even if I'm got a Windows overlay. You can see the time for me. That isn't important. It's just there to fit in with the overall theme of it, you know, all Windows operating systems has a clock that plays time. And I could have a static time. But where's the fun in that? Might as well just put an image. So it all plays together quite knit, tight knitly. It plays well. It fits the aesthetic and the theme of my stream as well. It goes together quite beautifully. 
So, yeah, that's all I can say on it. If you want to see this thing in action, then feel free to join my streams. At the moment, I am restreaming on a Tuesday. That is at the time of this recording. For more updates, you know, follow the Twitter, follow the uh, Twitch. That's at the bottom in the panels. And the Twitter is also linked and in the bottom, so just have a look there. I think after next year, I'll probably go up to two streams a week. And I'm just keeping at that, working at it, and going at it. And hopefully I'll get a viewer base. At the moment, there is a non-existent viewer base, so feel free to sort to the ghosts and the dead bodies that are clawing up the chat. But I'd hope to give that a bit of a roll clean and get some people in there, have a good time. So, thank you for watching, feel free to subscribe if you want, I expect more streams at the moment than videos, but if I do do make more videos, you know, feel free to keep subscribed, I've got some stuff in the works, whether or not that will show up anytime soon is a different story, but thank you for watching if you've gotten this far, and have a good day.